This is a poem and um, it's about having a fight with my mum and then making up. Uh, it's called Joan is my mother's name. The night of our life and the home that could be. It's mostly just a room with enough beds for a group of sleazy English lads or the accounting department catching a weekend off to quench that age-old ambition of a weekend bender abroad. Haha, -ha, see, it's less of an apartment and more of a factory, our Airbnb. I've heard of the Czech spring rising until the tanks closed in on those soft children and the Voltava was stripped of all its blue. Closing tight and killing any chance of life, the way those who can close do. Yet still for us, this is Prague in autumn. The music from the greasy bar rising up to the windowsill that's broken and doesn't close. Mind the shower's cracked tray, skin oils cold on bedclothes. The host knows, but what's there to say? It was cheap. But what is there to say when only a few niggling guests stand in the way of renting it as is and making a killing? And that killing is you and me. She turns on her side. There is silence now for a while. The traditional Czech band below has faded out into the night. I close the window. It hits the latch on the third time, recline, and then it's she and me. The woman I call mum. Today snarls at each other outside the park. The wheezing related to the pressures of the arteries of your heart. Just look as you show how your ankles swell. Oh well, I answer. Oh well. Tired of your life. Tired of you waiting on, weighing on me. Why can't you just see me? And how I just need a moment's silence. But it's just a little souvenir, so go on and buy it. I'll wait for you outside. And we do, me and you. As soldiers who saw the bare sky towards Constantinople, huddled in the mud, put words to their wonder, wondering, why do we fight? Boys armed to their teeth in trenches, why do we fight at all? Our love story, mother like that of Romeo and Juliet, Verona, Mantua, Montague, Capulet. But the parent-child tale is more poignant yet. You who dies first, who gave life first to me. And now on your side, your nightdress, the dry skin of your feet, there but buried under wrinkled folds and pleat. I take out my headphones, look at you, shy to look too long and now there is silence and the night has come and me in the lamplight and i your son